The Battle of Kisu was part of the Allied advance on Damascus in Syria during the Syria-Lebanon campaign in World War II. The battle is noted for the confrontation between Vichy French and the Free French forces. The Free French met with stiff resistance from the Vichy French. Chapter 1 Background On 8 June 1941, troops of the 5th Indian Infantry Brigade Group, under Brigadier Wilfred Lewis Lloyd, had crossed the Syrian border from the British Mandate of Palestine to take Kinetra, and Dirar with the objective of opening the way for free French forces to advance along the roads from these towns to Damascus. This was one of four attacks planned for the campaign by the Allied Commander General Henry Maitland Wilson. By 12 June, Dirar, Sheikh Meskin and Ezra on the Dirar to Damascus road had been captured and the Indian and free French forces, now named Gent Force and under the unified command of French Major General Paul Legentilhomme were before Kisu. Unfortunately, Legentilhomme was wounded almost immediately after taking command and was succeeded by Brigadier Lloyd on 14 June. Kisu was a strong defensive position. East of the road the gardens and houses of the town provided cover for infantry and tanks backed by the considerable defense works on the steeply rising Jebel El Kelb and Jebel Abu trees behind them. West of the road were the hills of Tel Kisu, Tel Afar and Jebel Mardani which commanded the roads to Damascus from both Kinetra and Dirar. The boulder-strewn country was virtually impassable by wheeled vehicles except on the road and made progress difficult even on foot. Furthermore, the river Arwish flowed in front of the French positions across the Allied line of advance. Chapter 2 – The Battle At four o'clock on 15 June, Indian troops made a frontal attack which fortuitously coincided with a relief of the Vichy forces' forward troops. After fierce fighting, the village was taken by 8.30. By nine o'clock, the Indian troops were pushing forward into the hills behind the village which overlooked the main road from the west and within an hour had captured Tel Kisu. On the river on the far left flank of the advance, the village of Monkelp had been secured by free French marines by 11 colon 30. A second phase of the attack had begun at 11 o'clock with free French forces advancing across the river into the hills on the right of the Damascus road. Having captured Jebel Kelb, the advance stalled on Jebel Abu trees, while on the far right a flanking move by free French tanks was stopped by heavy shelling from Vichy artillery. Further depressing news for Lloyd came from the Allied troops holding Kinetra, on the other main road to Damascus from the south, who reported the approach of a strong Vichy force from the north. Furthermore, Lloyd's own lines of communication were being threatened by the capture of Ezra by Vichy Tunisian troops which had advanced cross-country from Tel Soutain to the east. Ezra was only six miles to the east of Sheikh Meskin which was on the main road south from Kisu. Lloyd decided that a rapid advance on Damascus would best deal with the critical situation. He sent two companies of free French troops and some artillery south to Sheikh Meskin to bolster reinforce the two squadrons of the Transjordan Frontier Force which had taken defensive positions across the road eastwards from Sheikh Meskin to Desra, and ordered the Indian Brigade to advance. During the night of 15 June, pushing forward through the hills to the left of the Kisu to Damascus Road, Indian troops took our twos on the Kinetra to Damascus Road, cutting the rearward communications of the Vichy force advancing on Kinetra. On the afternoon of 16 June, it was reported incorrectly that Ezra had been retaken by the Allies but the news from Kinetra was less promising. Outnumbered three to one and facing tanks against which they had no effective counter, the Allied defenders at Kinetra, a battalion of the Royal Fusiliers, held out until, surrounded and ammunition virtually exhausted, at 1900 hours on 16 June the remaining 13 officers and 164 men surrendered. Despite this threat to Gentile Force's supply lines, it was decided to press on to Damascus. This forced the Vichy commander to withdraw his flanking forces.